Now back home, it's a side of the development story no one wants to speak about. India's economic prosperity has come at a huge cost, and now thousands of landless tribals, farmers, and wage laborers who have been displaced by special economic zones are marching to Delhi. But as Sandeep Bhushan reports, the problem of displacement isn't unique to India, a fact made clear by the presence of hundreds of foreigners who have had a similar experience in their respective countries. <laughs> Tonight, Chaumuha Kasba, 20 kilometers from Mathura on the Delhi Agra National Highway, has been transformed into a roadside theatre. A rapt, if tired audience is listening to Rath Ram, who is singing Pandwani, or verses from the Mahabharat in Chhattisgarhi. Forty-year-old Rath Ram is a shikari, the tribe of hunters found in Chhattisgarh's Rajgarh district and Orissa. The Forest and Wildlife Acts have banned his means of livelihood, forcing him into the ranks of the tribal dispossessed. <laughs> Nearly 25,000 Rath Rams, tribals, marginal farmers and landless laborers displaced by private and government projects in 13 states are marching from Gwalior to New Delhi. On the road, it's a mobile settlement with 25 separate kitchens catering to every thousand people funded by a corpus created by these people themselves. For the last three years, each of these families have been contributing a handful of rice and one rupee every week. This is 21st century Gandhism reinvented, and the man behind it is P.V. Rajagopal, who has been spearheading a demand for land reform policy and a land reforms commission to ensure it is implemented. The government is giving away land to multinational companies and national companies in a big way. When poor people ask for land, there is no land. The Zamindari Abolition Act of the 1940s failed. The Bhutan movement, indicating a voluntary transfer of land from the powerful landlords to the landless, also bombed in the 1950s and 60s. In the 60s, the land to the tiller movement of the Communist Party also failed. Now, will this 21st century incarnation of socialism succeed? Now, that is a key question. But this problem is not confined to India. Some 250 foreign satyagrahis are part of the Janadesh Yatra, including Brazil. Like India, where 130 districts are affected by Maoists, Latin America is also home to a number of Maoist groups who believe only in violent methods. We believe we should be non-violent, although we also believe that violence doesn't come from us, but from the owners of the land, from the government. But displacement is not merely economic or political, it is cultural as well. After a hard day out in virtually baking sun, the bees of Madhya Pradesh of Jhabwa district have put together this beautiful dance that's called Pali. The idea to convey this is of course not to sound like a government tourism brochure, but to basically sound a warning that if conditions of marginalization among bees continue, dance could be simply lost to future generations. Land, the battle has only just begun. And these satyagrahis are competing against powerful contenders. 142 special economic zones and foreign investors who are expected to plow 10 billion dollars into the Indian real estate sector in the next 12 months. In Mathura with K. Ravi, this is Sandeep Bhushan for NGTV.